Mythmadig, and we're playing Age of Empires 2, the HD edition, which basically just means it's widescreen. And we're gonna do the Age of King campaign. That's the first one. The Conquerors was the expansion. So we're gonna jump right in here. And this, I believe, is kind of a tutorial. I haven't done it in a long time. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. If you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now, right click near the blue flag. Good. Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier. Then right click near the flag. Excellent. To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Ooh, the black the area. area reveals more of the map. <laughs> the black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. soldiers to the next flag did all your units make it to the flag the road ahead is guarded by an english outpost scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen then click the red outpost i wonder if i can adjust the volume it sounds like the music is Click the outpost to attack it. Done cut. I used to play a lot of games like this. 
I haven't played any real-time strategy games in a long time. This would have been one of the first games the that I played online. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Oh. Keep following the path to the village. Oh, bid fear. I played a game, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. It's home built on the home. same engine. And it, uh... Wait! The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost! They're coming to attack oh. your village! Don't panic. Just Plays a lot click like your this. soldiers it just, uh, and right-click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy Star Wars soldiers characters. and you will have won your first battle! So you have battle droids and uh, stormtroopers, clone troopers, etc. Instead of uh, Good job. militia. Now you know how to fight the back against people. the English army. Okay, and that's the first one. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.